because a healthy colon should eliminate food within six to 18 hours, one to three times a day. If you're going more than that, then you should probably see a health professional. If you're going less than that, then you're probably backed up a little bit or a lot. And if your gut is unhealthy, the bacteria and fungi that grow in there can increase and get out of hand, which is gross, gross. <laughs> and in the beginning, some possible detoxing symptoms you could experience are cravings, fatigue, headache, loose stool, moodiness, nausea, and this is all due to the toxins that are being released at a cellular level within your body. So as the toxins move through your body, then you might feel worse before you feel better. And actually you should feel better within a few days. So Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata, ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Hakuna Matata. 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 Now I do recommend that you consult a natural nutritionist for guidance before you begin any detoxing program just to make sure that everything is good and you do it properly. And some detoxing tips that I have for you are to eliminate or reduce your alcohol. Alcohol could hinder the effects of detoxing and also it in itself is a is a toxin so really you should be drinking less alcohol cigarettes that should be a no-brainer cigarettes are full of toxins loaded with toxins they're also even full of additives that cause you to become addicted to cigarettes right reduce the amount of coffee that you drink and if you need caffeine i would recommend that you substitute with green tea while you're detoxing and after you finish detoxing you can go back to coffee but there are some toxins that are in coffee, so just keep that in mind, you know, if you're not progressing the way that you want to in your detoxing program, that could possibly be why. Reduce the amount of GMO corn that you eat because that plant really absorbs a lot of toxins within the environment and then being sprayed with pesticides and all that stuff, all of that goes into your system and builds up toxins in your body. Reduce the amount of dairy that you consume, eggs even, possibly, junk foods. Junk foods is a no-brainer. I would eliminate them all together. As well as refined foods, GMO meats, sugar especially, because that's an inflammatory food in and of itself. And also wheat. Now you're probably thinking, well, what do I eat? <laughs> I would actually like you to increase the amount of fresh fruits that you eat. Increase the amount of fresh vegetables that you eat. Fresh vegetables, I mean, it should taste really, really good. If you don't like the taste of it, like for instance, celery, I can't eat GMO celery at all. Like to me, it tastes really bitter and disgusting and I have to load it up with almond butter and all that stuff in order to even take a bite because it's just like, <laughs> so I would recommend that you go organic with your detoxes. <laughs> Eat organic fruits, organic vegetables, and you should, you will be amazed by how sweet things can be. GMO tomatoes to me again are just like, why eat this? It doesn't taste like anything, you know? And eating organic tomatoes, I can eat them just like an apple. It's so sweet and it's just like a fruit. Actually, a tomato is a fruit. But also, I can eat organic celery just as a stick, you know, just like this. Because celery actually is sweet. Go figure. If you don't believe me, try it out and let me know. Let me know in the comments below. So if you think it's a lot of chewing because it's like rabbit food or whatever, then you could also drink fresh pressed juices. So one of my favorite, favorite, favorite stores of all times, actually two of them, Press Juicery and Urban Remedy. 
They're both awesome in their own way. I love them. <laughs> if you don't want to juice your own fruits and vegetables, go to them because they both have awesome detoxing programs already. And I love them. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think juices are not substantial enough, you could also detox with their smoothies. Other ways you could eat vegetables, you could eat them raw, lightly steamed, lightly cooked, that way you're preserving the nutrients, you don't kill everything and then you're just eating dead food anyway. Increase your legumes, so legumes are beans, lentils, peas, etc, 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 nuts, seeds, pasture-raised animal protein. So I'm not saying to stop eating animal protein altogether if you are eating animal protein. If you're a vegan, don't eat it, but stay away from GMO animal protein at least during the detox. That way you're not constantly re-exposed to all the toxins and the hormones that they're pumped with and stick to whole foods and not meat from the deli because that's also loaded up with chemicals that you don't even know or can't even pronounce, right? And I would eat more cleansing herbs and spices. There actually are cleansing herbs and spices like burdock, cayenne, cinnamon. You know, I eat cinnamon every single day. I love it. I love the flavor. I put it in my oatmeal. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon is like coriander, cumin, dandelion, dandelion root, pretty bitter, but very effective. There's fennel, ginger. I also eat ginger every single day. Ginger, not, not too much, but I have it with pretty much every single meal and it keeps me spicy. Licorice, star anise, turmeric. Now, if you eat turmeric as a powder, as a spice, you know, or if you cut up a root, a turmeric root, then I would recommend that you, mm, don't touch it with your hands <laughs> because your fingers will get very yellow. Your fingernails will get yellow and it's like, now you have these weird yellow spots on your hands from cutting it up. So I would wear food gloves or, and, and I would also make sure to brush your teeth after you eat any meal that has turmeric in it because it could stain these pretty white things. And another bonus, 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 bonus. <laughs> Practice health supporting lifestyle choices. So for instance, get plenty of rest, get regular exercise, you know, work on your social support system. So your friends, family, get your coworkers and acquaintances to join you and also work on stress management. Now a little note on ending your detoxing program. It is important to reintroduce your eliminated foods one by one. That way you can pay close attention to your body's response. I would make sure to keep a journal of how you feel after eating each food. So that way you know which foods you're more sensitive to than others. You know, some foods that you might like or that you might think are healthy may not be right for you, right? And you really should be focused on your unique body chemistry and digestive ability. And isn't that the crunch of it all, right? If it doesn't work for you, don't do it, right? If it works for you, maybe you should do it <laughs> more. <laughs> And you know, sometimes it's good to deep detox your system. You know, I did an amazing, 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 intense, very intense detox program that was so effective that weird things started to happen. And all I did was sit there in a sauna. I loaded up on vitamins. I ate super, super clean and weird things started to happen. I felt and I saw all of my childhood sunburns come out, literally. Like I started turning red as if I was getting a sunburn in a dark sauna. All I was doing was sitting in a dark sauna doing nothing, stretching actually. I was stretching and rolling and massaging myself and just relaxing and things were coming out. It was weird. I started sweating my sunburn lines. I kid you not, like literally. So as a child, I used to wear a thick strap tank top. So like thick, right? And I would wear the scoop neck outline. Now I like wearing a V-neck because I think it looks better. <laughs> and 
literally I had no tan because it was the middle of winter time at, when I did this program and all of a sudden I saw the the shirt lions that I wore I saw my old monokini line so I mean you know as a child you don't wear bikinis I mean now kids wear bikinis and I think that's kind of wrong but anyways so I saw my monokini lines because I got a butt burn, I got my shoulders burned, I got my face burned and all that stuff, right? Just standing up in the sun, playing in the sun and not really caring about reapplying sunscreen. Because you're a kid, because you're like, who cares, whatever. <laughs> and now I saw all of those same marks come out and it was amazing. I mean, I felt like I was burning again. Like I was like, ugh. Oh you know, get the, get the stuff off my, off my skin. Like what's going on? Oh my goodness. Like my hands and my arms were burned. It was like, ah, my knees were burned. Cause you know, when you sit down in the sun and just, and that happens. And if you've tried detoxing before, let me know what symptoms you've experienced, what amazing or weird things that have happened to you. Please comment below. <laughs> and if you're interested in trying this awesome, amazing program for yourself, send me a message at jessicayoungfit.com and I will tell you all about it because I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I just want to spread the word all over the place. <laughs> I'm Jessica Young, your bikini fitness trainer, and thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Make sure to post your comments, questions, and fitness topics that you want me to talk about below. And I will see you next Friday, every single Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another bikini blog episode. Mwah!